How to get the no makeup makeup look. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Makeup artist Joe Reed from Blush is going to show us how to achieve the no makeup makeup look. So today we're going to create what is called the natural look or the no makeup look. And that's all about great skin and using colours that are in keeping with the skin tone. We're going to start by doing your eyes. I'm going to lift up the eyebrow and get right down to the root of the lashes, using foundation to even out the skin tone. Pat it in gently using your finger until the foundation just disappears into the skin. Now I'm just going to take some translucent powder, pat off any excess, and this is just going to set that foundation now, which will enable me to use a powder, eyeshadow and blend really smoothly over the foundation. It's very important that you do this, otherwise you'll find your eyeshadow does stick and go a bit patchy when you try to blend it. In terms of colour, I'm going to choose a colour called cashmere that's in keeping with Emily's colouring and then taking this right into the corner and up into the socket and along the lash line. Now I'm going to blend the edges of that makeup using the blending brush and this is really important with barely there makeup that you do this so you can't see any harsh edges. Now I'm going to take this colour underneath the eye as well. So if you look up to the ceiling for me, Emily, I'm going to use a very little brush and use this colour as an eyeliner, creating a circuit of this colour around the eye. And I'm just taking this with lots of little movements underneath the eyelashes. Now for a barely there eyeliner, I'm actually going to use eyeshadow and water. Just make sure that you get to the root of the lashes light the brush at an angle on the root of the lashes and take it out at an angle and use the lashes as guidance because you've got a line there already that the lashes have created. So now we're going to move on to mascara. I'm just going to wipe the wand so that we haven't got too much on here. Go underneath the lashes and wiggle from side to side and this is actually putting the product in between all the lashes so it's slightly thickening them as well as lengthening them. Now I'm going to use the tip of the brush to do the bottom lashes and you'll have much more control of the brush if you do it like this rather than like this. So just use the tip of the brush and wash over the bottom lashes. Now we're going to clean up underneath the eye. Just wipe up to the makeup but not over it. And all of that was actually on your face so it's quite important that you do do that. And now you can move on to under eye concealer. Now under eye concealer needs to be really, really light for this sort of look. You don't want anything too heavy. This just goes into the darkest areas, so down the side of the nose here, into the dip here, and then we all have a bit of redness right at the edge, so I'm just going to take it out to the outer edge a bit. And now I'm going to use the concealer brush to blend this out. So down and out, always blend out and up to the makeup to give this a really nice, neat edge. When you get to the point where this actually isn't blending anymore with the brush, you use your finger just to pat it in. So now we can move on to foundation. You just try a little bit out on the corner of the jawline and it should disappear really evenly and very easily and it should match the rest of the skin. Now this is just going to go on the areas where it's needed, which is always going to be forehead, nose and chin, and then on any pink areas of slight unevenness. And now I'm actually going to blend this using my finger. So apply it with the brush and then blend with the finger. Make sure that you do blend every little bit because you don't want any telltale signs. The fact that you are wearing a foundation with this look, it is a, a barely there look. Now we're going to move on to blusher. I'm going to use a cream blusher for this look so that I can still see Emily's skin through it. Start directly underneath the iris, which is where the colour of the eye starts and you don't want to go any lower than the bottom of the nose here. So we're going to keep it within that area. Now if you smile for me, Emily, and I'm just going to take this back and down along the cheekbone. And in choosing a lipstick, I want to use one that's as close as possible to Emily's natural lip colour. I'm just going to line Emily's lips using this brush. Be very careful not to go outside of the natural lip line and we're just going to use a bit of gloss in the centre of the mouth just to pick up on the fullness of Emily's lips here. And that's the no makeup look.